Elon Musk and Samsung might just be teaming up for something huge, something that could completely change how our phones connect to the internet. I'm talking about Starlink, the satellite internet service from Elon Musk, reportedly asking Samsung to build a new AI-powered modem for what could become the world's first space-based 6G network. Now, this is not just another faster internet story. This is about giving your phone the power to connect directly to satellites in space, no cell towers needed. That's massive. So here's the deal. Right now, when your phone connects to Starlink or any satellite internet, it actually goes through a bunch of ground stations first. Basically, the signal bounces from your phone to a base station, then up to a satellite and back again. That's a lot of steps, which adds delay and limits coverage. But what Samsung and Starlink are reportedly working on would change that completely. The new AI-boosted modem chip would let your phone talk directly to Starlink satellites. No base stations, no middlemen, just your phone straight to space. And here's where it gets wild. This chip has an NPU, or neural processing unit, built right in. Think of it like a mini AI brain inside the modem. Its job? It's to predict satellite movements and optimize signal connections in real time. Basically, it's smart enough to know where a satellite will be and it adjusts your signal automatically for the best possible connection. That's a game changer because satellites move fast, like thousands of kilometers per hour fast. Keeping a stable link to one is extremely tricky, but if the modem itself can predict and adjust faster than current chips, then boom, smooth, uninterrupted internet anywhere on Earth. According to reports from the Korean Economic Daily, Samsung showed off a presentation saying this new Exynos modem can improve beam identification and channel prediction, basically how your phone locks onto a satellite signal, by 55 and 42 times faster than what's available now. That's insane. It's like going from buffering Netflix in the desert to streaming 4K videos in the middle of the ocean. Now, let's talk about why this is such a win for Samsung over other chip makers like Qualcomm or MediaTek. First off, this deal shows that Samsung is no longer just about making chips for phones or tablets. They're moving into space-grade technology, literally building hardware that connects Earth to space. Second, if Samsung's modem becomes the standard for Starlink's 6G service, that's a massive business edge. Every device that wants to use Starlink's direct satellite network, phones, cars, even drones, could need a Samsung chip inside. That's billions of dollars worth of opportunity, and it positions Samsung as a serious competitor, not just in smartphones, but in the entire global communication industry. And it doesn't stop there. Elon Musk's Starlink recently invested around $17 billion to buy wireless spectrum and mobile satellite frequencies. That's a sign they're dead serious about this next step. And guess what? Samsung's right there, ready to make the brains of that system work. Now, some people might be thinking, won't this kind of tech eat up a lot of power? Probably. Real-time satellite tracking and AI predictions aren't easy tasks, but that's why Samsung's AI optimization is key. It'll make the connection smart enough to balance performance and power use. You might not even realize it's doing all that behind the scenes. Your phone will just work anywhere, whether you're on a mountain, in the ocean, or out in the desert. And think about where this can go beyond smartphones. This kind of satellite to device tech could be used in autonomous cars, delivery drones, rescue robots, even planes and ships. Anything that needs a strong connection in places with no signal. Analysts are also saying this shows Samsung's chip division is finally breaking out of the shadow of its smartphone business. They're taking on projects that go far beyond mobile. We're talking Tesla collaborations, space internet, and 6G research. If this partnership works out, Samsung won't just be the company that makes Galaxy phones. They'll be one of the leaders in the next era of global connectivity, the kind where your phone doesn't need a network tower because the network is in space. And honestly, that's crazy to think about. Just a few years ago, we were talking about 5G towers popping up everywhere. And now Samsung and Musk are talking about skipping towers completely. Of course, we're still a few years away from this being real. But if the early reports are true and that 55 times faster optimization is legit, we might be looking at the biggest leap in connectivity since smartphones went wireless. So yeah, this isn't just a win for Samsung. It's a flex a massive statement to Qualcomm, MediaTek, and every other chipmaker out there. 
Samsung is saying, we're not just making chips for phones anymore, we are making chips for space. And if they pull it off with Starlink, we are about to enter a world where your next phone doesn't just get a signal from the nearest tower, it gets one straight from the sky.